Tampa photographer is fighting for his reputation after discovering a peculiar Craigslist ad posted by someone claiming to be him. Our Alex Hobson has this exclusive story tonight. She joins us from the newsroom with the details on this. Alex, I know he's worried someone will fall for it, right? Wendy, he's concerned whoever posted this has bad intentions and could be preying on women, and we checked. This ad is still up. You could see it right here. It's currently the first job posted in its category. Person is pretending to be me here in Tampa. This is Ryan Gautier, the real owner of Suntier Studios Photography in South Tampa. This, he says, is a fraud. I was flabbergasted. This week out of the blue, Gautier received an email from a stranger asking him about his modeling ad. When he wrote back to find out what she was talking about, the woman sent him this, a Craigslist posting in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, soliciting ladies under his photography company's name. It advertises an all-expenses-paid trip to Tampa, Clearwater, and Orlando, Disney tickets, and 1500 bucks a day. But you need to send a photo first. Gautier immediately called police. Worst case scenario, it could be, you know, sex trafficking. It could be a lure to bait these young women to meeting them somewhere. Police told him there wasn't much they could do, so he took matters into his own hands, posing as a female and responding to the ad. Minutes later, a man named Brad wrote back. He asked for a short video and gave a phone number to send it to. So tonight, we called that number. Hi, my name's Alex Hobson, and I'm a reporter with ABC Action News in Tampa. I'm calling about a Craigslist ad you posted in Myrtle Beach. And about an hour later, he returned our call. You don't know anything about what I'm talking about? The man on the other end of the phone not only denied posting the Craigslist ad, he claimed someone must be using his number, leaving Gautier with just as many questions as ever. I really have no idea where they found me, how they got my name. I, I, I have no idea. CBD tells me they're currently looking into whether or not a crime has actually been committed. Tonight, I also reached out to Craigslist and the Internet Crime Complaint Center, but I'm still waiting for a response, and so is Gautier. He's filed reports with Tampa Police, Myrtle Beach Police, and the FBI. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alex Hobson, ABC Action News.